Okay, so you want to live in Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia. Well, if you're looking for a city that is rich in history, specifically Civil War history, and a place that has a great location to bigger cities like Chattanooga, the city is going to be great for you. Stick around to the end of the video. I'll go over a market analysis of Fort Oglethorpe. We're going to get started right now. So if you're new to my channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living and exploring Northwest Georgia, give this video a like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. That way you can stay up to date on all the videos I produce and the current market trends here in Northwest Georgia. My name is Christopher Owens. I love working with people just like you who are wanting to make their move here to Northwest Georgia. I get calls and emails every day from people wanting to make that move. So give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. That way I can make that transition for you as smooth as possible. You're gonna find all the information that you need to know in the description below. So like I said, I'm here in Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia. I'm standing in front of one of the biggest monuments here in the Chickamauga Battlefield. This monument is a huge tower and it's a monument to some of the Union soldiers that fought here. Um, so in this video, like I said, we're gonna be going over some of the, the houses you're gonna find here some of the restaurants, historical sites, and you know, stick around to the end of the video because I'll be going over a market analysis and we'll take you on a little drive around Fork Oglethorpe, Georgia. So with that, let's head to our first house. So we're a nice little community. It is close to Battlefield Parkway, so you're not too far away from you know, the shops and restaurants. You're, 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 you're just minutes away, close to I-75, so you have easy access to you know, go to Chattanooga, travel around other places in northwest Georgia. Um, the house that we're going to be talking about is this home just right behind me. This home is $215,000 and the square footage is close to 1,800 square feet. That brings the price per square foot at 120. It sits on uh, around a 0.3 acre lot, has three beds, two baths, and what's great, it has a lot of improvements, a lot of updates inside the home. The, up, the complete upstairs acts as a master suite with a full bath, has a covered patio in the backyard, so really nice for family outings, family gatherings in the backyard. You can you know, beat the summer heat um, because when it's hot here, it is, it is hot, so you're going to want that covered patio. Um, so nice little community, nice quiet community, and again, close to everything. Um, so with that, let's check out our next house. Okay, so for our next house, it's here in the Lakeshore Cove community. It's a private community, has a nice gated entrance up front, the gated entrance in the back. Um, so this community does have a 10 acre lake that is stocked with fish, nice private dock for resident use, a private pavilion. So a great place to bring the family to go and check out the lake and have some fun. What's cool about this community is, you know, there's a lot of construction going on. You know, right behind me, there's a lot of lots still open. Um, a lot of houses still being built. So a uh, fairly new community here in Fort Oglethorpe. And you're gonna see a lot of great houses, that, a lot of unique styles, some different houses. You know, it's not all cookie cutter, which is nice. So the house that we're gonna to highlight today is the house right behind me. It's uh, $995,000. It comes out to a little more than 5,000 square feet. And it sits on a little less than a Half, half acre lot. So the price per square foot would be around $197. It has five beds and five and a half baths. And what's great about the home, it has custom tile and hardwood floors throughout the whole home, it has a nice bonus room and a theater room. So, I mean, you can keep it that way. You can switch it up a bit. So, so this location, you're going to have easy access to the Chickamauga Battlefield. Uh, you're just minutes away from shopping and restaurants on Battlefield Parkway. So it's a great location. So this is pan around real quick so you can get an idea of what your neighbors will look like, what the community looks like. Uh, beautiful, you know, you sit up on top of the hill, so good views. And you know, the lake is just down the street. So with that, let's head over to Battlefield Nutrition to get some uh, tasty shake and we'll go over some of the market recap and the things you can do here in Fort Oglethorpe. Okay, so we're here at Battlefield Nutrition, just right on Battlefield Parkway. You know, it's a great place to get a 
protein, no replacement shake, you have energizing teas, a lot of fun flavors, a lot of tasty shakes. Uh, personally, I, I got the um, banana nut bread shake. So very good. Um, so a great place to come, come get, you know, in the morning, um, get a healthy start to your day. So, you know, that's Battlefield Nutrition. So um, I'm gonna go over kind of the other places you can go eat around here on Battlefield Parkway in Fort Oglethorpe. Um, other places is the Barbecue Shack on Lafayette Road. So that one is pretty close to Chickamauga Battlefield in their historic district. Uh, at the Barbecue Shack, you can get a, you know, a great barbecue baked potato, good barbecue nachos, um, barbecue pulled pork. You know, can't go wrong with barbecue, right? So, uh, you know, you you're going to get a lot of the barbecue favorites there. Um, also a great place and not a very well-known uh, restaurant is the Thai Garden. So the Thai Garden is a family-owned restaurant. Nice hidden gem. Um, if you love Thai food, um, Chinese style food, you're going to love to go there. They have great large portions. Their summer rolls are amazing. Um, you know, and they have all the Thai food favorites there. So great place to go, you know, good price, great portions, and you're just supporting a, you know, family owned business, small business. Um, another great place to eat here in Fort Oglethorpe is Battlefield Burgers, another little shack area just on, on the street. So Battlefield Burgers, uh, they do serve breakfast and, you know, they have great biscuits and waffles. Gotta love the waffles <laughs> wherever you go, right? Um, and you know, for the lunch, dinner hours, they have their burgers, which are amazing. You know, great fries. You know, everybody just raves about the fries there. So if you want a good fry, good burger, go there. Or if you're in the morning, just passing through, get you a waffle. Um, you know, so you can take on the road. Nothing better than that, right? So that is Battlefield Burgers. Um, that's also down close to uh, Chickamauga Battlefield. You know, just a little shack on the road. Um, another great place is El Cactus Mexican Grill. They have great fajitas and a lot of the Mexican food favorites, you know, like tamales, chimichangas, great tacos, and they have house margaritas that are to die for. So um, that is El Cactus Mexican Grill. It's a nice location on Battlefield Parkway, um, located in, you know, close to the Walmart here. So great location. Um, easy access to get to and great Mexican food. So you're not going to be disappointed there at all. Um, so that was some of the restaurants I wanted to highlight here. Um, now I want to go over kind of the shopping areas you can find here. Uh, you know, Fort Oldthorpe does have a lot of the, um, you know, chain store shopping areas, but also some areas I wanted to highlight is Cake and Barrel. They do a lot of the lotions, beer, beard products like beard oils, beard creams, um, scented oils, soaps, uh, and there are a lot of flavors that you know you almost wish it was food, right? So um, a lot of cool flavors, um, again small business, family run business, uh, so great place to check out if you're looking for any of the soaps and oils, uh, any beard products, you know that's Cake and Barrel. And another great place is the History Company right outside of Chickamauga Battlefield. History Company is your one-stop history shop, and they have a lot of original items from, you know, Civil War era to present time. You know, they specialize in a lot of the uh, war artifacts, uh, war wartime tools that were used, and you know, the the owners there know a great deal of all their items and history. So, if you're wanting to go, you know, just to get a history lesson you know that's the history company right on Lafayette Road as well kind of close right across the street from the barbecue shack um, great place to check out they have things uh, things for sale a lot of antiques a lot of military antiques so a great place to get a tidbit of history and bring home some history you know if you're if you're a big history buff you're gonna love the history company they even have a museum in the back of their building that goes over a lot of things they also have on, on Lafayette Road, there's Tootsie's Treasures. Tootsie's Treasures has just about everything you can think of. They have furniture, jewelry, clothing, gifts, accessories. Um, nice little antique shop, gift shop. Um, so cool place to check out and you know, you could find your own treasure at Tootsie's Treasures. <laughs>
So uh, good place to check out. And uh, now I want to go over some of the outdoor things to do, some of the things you can do around town. So big thing is the Chickamauga Battlefield. Now the Chickamauga Battlefield is the nation's oldest and largest battlefield um, here in the country. So the Chickamauga Battlefield took place in the Civil War. It was actually the second bloodiest battle in the Civil War. And there is over 50 miles of walking trail, uh, biking trails. Um, there's even some horse trails. So if you want to go horseback riding through the battlefield, you can. There's some marked trails for that. There is some uh, camping you can do on site. They have a great visitor center with interactive maps, interactive uh, exhibits you can look at, a lot of the wartime artifacts, and they keep it up really clean and nice. Some gifts in there as well. So it's a great vis visitor center to go, go check out, uh, learn a little bit more about the Chickamauga Battlefield. And the battlefield now, the grounds are kept very well, so it's a beautiful place to go, to go walking, running, biking. And that's Chickamauga Battlefield. Another great place is the Gilbert Stevenson Park. And so Gilbert Stevenson Park has a large playground for the kids, also has a pool. Um, they do some, uh, actually some swimming, uh, comp competitive swimming there at their pool. There's large pavilions, great fields for playing and hanging out, you know, family outings. There's a nice paved walkway along the creek there. Um, and a couple of spots where, you know, the kids can jump in and get their feet wet in the creek. So great place to Gilbert Stevenson Park. Good place uh, for the family, great place to, you know, go walk and, you know, just kind of get away from it all for a little bit. You know, conveniently just right off Battlefield Parkway. Uh, another really fun place, you know, to take the family is the Extreme Mega Park. It's a big trampoline park. If y'all have ever seen those trampoline buildings, uh, it has an inflatable park, a big playground for the kids as well. So there's something from, you know, for all ages, from little kids to, uh, to adults. They even have a uh, zip line roller coaster, um, a lot of fun things, you know, a little arcade. So that's an Extreme Air Mega Park. A again, I mean, really convenient to get to right off Battlefield Parkway. So, I mean, a lot of the sites, so with, with Fort Oglethorpe, you're gonna find that a lot of things just kind of branch off Battlefield Parkway. Battlefield Parkway kind of runs through, you know, the whole body of Fort Oglethorpe and uh, it makes everything pretty easily accessible. So Battlefield Parkway gives you easy access to like I-75. Um, if you haven't watched my other videos, I-75 is the main highway system, uh, interstate system in Northwest Georgia, kind of cuts Northwest Georgia from north to south. Um, also makes it pretty accessible to you know, places like Chattanooga, Atlanta. Uh, another great places to do outside is on the West Chickamauga Creek. West Chickamauga Creek is a, really fun to float down, kayak, canoe, go fishing. Uh, jump in to cool off from the summer heat. Uh, there are a couple of launch points here in Fort Oglethorpe. There's one right off of Dietz Road. Um, they actually have it marked off uh, the West Chickamauga Creek uh, spot. There's a little field there and a little spot you can kind of launch in or wait in. There's also a launch spot right behind the O'Charlies on Battlefield Parkway. So um, kind of a spot you wouldn't want to expect you know to bring your kayak but uh hey you can you can get a nice bite to eat go launch and go launch into west chickamauga creek and just you know float down the creek um get a nice launch spot there there's also good paved walkway around the o'charlies that goes along the creek with benches to sit on so a great place to, just to relax you know before your meal after your meal a great place to go um, just to enjoy the nature here in fort oglethorpe um, there's also a Bark City Dog Park um, right off Battlefield Parkway. You know, a great place to take your dog and let your dog run around and hang out. So um, those are the kind of things you can do around Fort Oglethorpe. There's also, also um, some bigger sites around here, uh, like Lookout Mountain and Lake Winnipesoka Theme Park. You know, those are fun places to go as well. Um, so now that we covered, you know, the restaurants, things to do, uh, some of the shopping and the houses that we saw, Let's get into the stats, okay? So with the stats, uh, you're gonna have the population around 10,000. So it's a, it's a growing area, uh, but not too big. So you can still have that small town feel here. The median listing home price 
is $180,000. And the median listing home price per square foot is a 122. So you have uh, price ranges for everybody, you know. There's ranges and price points for everybody you can find here. You know, we did look at some in the $2,000 range and some on the higher end, you know, $900,000 and up. Um, and that uh, community, the Lakeshore Cove community. And uh, so you see this place is growing. There's a lot of houses being put in. Um, so if you want to find your place here in Fort Oglethorpe, you know, get this. Fort Oglethorpe being a nice location, your easy access to Chattanooga, easy access to I-75, it gets you to down into Atlanta. It's a really nice location to be in. Um, so if you want to find your place here, Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. Um, that way I can make that transition for you as smooth as possible. And I can help you find your home here. And also just a quick point, the inventory here in Fort Oglethorpe is just flying off the shelves. Um, that's why it's a little low. We, we did show uh, less houses than I usually show in a video uh, due to the inventory se selection, but you did see there are a lot of houses being built up. So, you know, that's why it's so important to, you know, let's schedule that Zoom call. That way I can get the specifics that you're looking for and we can really expedite that process. So that about wraps it up for our video today. If you really liked this video, found it interesting, give it a last thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, click that bell for notifications. That way you can stay up to date for on all my other videos I produce and also the current market trends here in beautiful Fort Oglethorpe and also beautiful Northwest Georgia. So with that, y'all take care and I'll see you soon.